So for today, we're going to be looking at the Pyro Gale Gauntlets. These, I'm going to be real with you guys, it's probably the most fun I've had using a new exotic in a new season since the Girl Falcons came out. And that was season of, if I remember correctly, that was season of uh, Plunder. So that was quite a while ago, but I still... I. These exotics have been so much fun. They've changed the way I actually play solar in a, in a very significant way too. Like I'll show you examples as well because I've been using the new exotics and I'm gonna be, yeah, again, like I'm gonna be real with you guys. I've had so much fun with this one. So we're gonna be looking how what it does, how it looks, uh, shadering and an example set as well. And a little extra because uh, this is super asymmetrical, which is very unfortunate. Well, I say super, but you guys will see what I mean when I'm when we get into it. But if you guys haven't seen the hunter run, it's right here. You guys can check it out. We go through literally what we're doing now, how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts and an example set as well. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Other than that, uh, fucking pyro gill gauntlets. Let's look at actually what it does. Percussive flames modifies burning maul into a single high damage slam of your hammer that creates five cyclones of flame. Consecration second slam creates a cyclone of flame. So I love these exotics. I think they're super fun. Uh, it's the fact that Burning Maul becomes just one a one hit super now and Consecration second slam creates a cyclone of flame. The thing, the funny thing is I've never used Consecration. I shouldn't say that. I used it a bit when it first came out and then I was like, well, whatever. I, I, the other two are way better and I don't really care about Consecration in PVE just because why would I? This actually makes me not only use Consecration a lot, but it also makes me build into making more melee because I want to use it all the time. It's so much fun. So yeah, nothing to really talk about. It's just the fact that these Cyclone Flames are super cool. Granted, do note that Burning Maul, when you do use it, it sends out three Cyclones, not five. So that might be a bug, or at least that's what I've noticed. I only get three instead of five. And yeah, the damage is actually pretty decent as well, surprisingly, because I was not expecting anything crazy from it. But thankfully, it is actually really, really good. As for how it looks, I think it looks cool. I think like design wise, it looks really, really cool. I will explain. Actually, I should, might as well show you now. Let's actually take out the picture or the video. You guys will notice that the pauldrons and the forearms are actually different colors. That's the only unfortunate thing is the fact that the arms and the pauldrons are different compared to the other side. And that's super asymmetrical, which kind of pisses me off. Funnily enough, though, I think the example set is so cool <laughs> because I take into consideration the fact that the arms are asymmetrical. So back to the how it actually looks. It looks really cool. I think uh, the fire on the pauldrons is really cool. Shadering, I might as well show you that while I'm talking about it. I think it looks okay. The fact that the arms and the the forearms and the pauldrons take different colors to the other side is really annoying and that will never not piss me off. But I do think it looks cool in certain situations and in Cryptic Insignia's case, I think it looks really cool. Granted, be, to be fair, you do have shaders like Dreaming Spectrum, <clears throat> the uh that one shader that they butchered it used to be silver you have options to just combine all of it into one color so that there is that but we don't have enough shaders that it makes me feel like okay cool i'll just use one of those because dreaming spectrum on it looks cool but at the same time i use it quite a bit so that's why i'm like eh, i'll use something else as for the example set i ended up going for crucible legacy which is not one of the shaders that combines everything if anything it makes it even more noticeable because it's a bone gray and a like orange, not orange, but it's a red. So you can definitely notice the difference. But the thing is, I was like, fuck it, we'll go for even more asymmetry. So for the helmet, uh, Radiant Breaker Helm and Radiant Breaker Mark is what we're both using because the fire, obviously. Uh, Solstice Plate Majestic is what we're using because fire as well. So. This is the, oh, uh, sorry, Solstice Graves, magnificent as well for the boots. And this is, I, sh I should probably note that this is the important part because Solstice Graves, magnificent actually are asymmetrical as well. And they're asymmetrical to the order of all of it. So when you start from the top down, the red is on the right side or left side, and then the bone color is on the left or right side. And then it switches for the arms, the bone is on the left, and then the red is on the right. And then it switches again on the 
on the calves or not calves the uh the thighs the red is on the left and then the bone color is on the right so that's why i ended up using these boots because i was like fuck it if we're gonna go asymmetry i'm gonna go all the way and then it's three asymmet asymmetrical looks in one set so i do think that's cool and overall i really like this set surprising like the thing that surprised me the most honestly is the shader crucible legacy i just was not expecting myself to use this but i think it came out so fucking cool let me know what you guys think in the comments below definitely definitely take this if you want because i do think it looks really really cool thankfully this is not a like a an exotic that you can use with other subclasses because then at that point it would have been problematic because solstice plate and solstice graves uh or yeah graves both of those actually take the glow from the subclass that you're using so that would have been really annoying but thankfully it is solar only which means that you're gonna have all of these colors to play with which is really cool so let me know what you guys think i'm definitely really excited to be using this a lot more because again like i said i've been using it quite a bit and i'm just happy that titan's got a really good exotic because this is so much fun let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later